So let's switch to thinking about oxygen, oxygen hybridization here. So in oxygen, we have a similar situation where, in fact, we are not going to promote any of the electrons because we have two lone pair electrons no matter what we do. So when we hybridize uh, our orbitals, we're going to end up with, again, four hybrid orbitals, four sp3 orbitals. And what we'll see is that two of these are, are, are already going to be filled up with uh, paired electrons. So we're only going to have two orbitals with an unpaired electron available for bonding. So let's think about water here as our simplest example with oxygen. So we can have our two hydrogen atoms come in here. And what we will find is now that we have all of our orbitals filled up. So thinking about what this angle is here, would you expect it to be uh, less than or greater than what we saw for ammonia before? Good, good. It's going to be less than. And it's going to be less than because now we have two lone pairs. So since we have two lone pairs, we're going to be pushing down even further on the bonding electrons. So we're going to smush those bonds even closer together. The bond, it turns out, is 104.5 degrees, the HOH bond. So in terms of naming our OH bond, good, it's right here. So uh, it's going to be a sigma bond. And we have oxygen 2 sp3 and hydrogen 1s. And the geometry, which I didn't ask you, is going to be bent for this molecule. <laughs>